So today we are actually leaving at Cabarete. I can't quite believe it. I'm gonna miss this view. I love this view. I also love the pool at this place. In the last video, we actually showed you around our apartment, which we don't totally love, but this part I do definitely love. So this probably seems really strange to you guys because in the last video we were showing you this place, we've given you a tour. Now we're packing up because it's time to go. We have commitments elsewhere. The thing is though, we have this place rented still for the next few weeks, so it's always really strange to go somewhere else where we have a place rented, but we have some big things planned and we can't wait till you guys see it a little later in the video. But we're going to be meeting up with some fellow travel friends. We haven't seen them in a few years, but uh, they've been in previous videos before, so you want to stick around to the end of the video to see who it is. We're really excited. But I wanted to elaborate a little bit more on what Trevor was just saying about renting an apartment. It's just, it just seems so strange to be traveling, rent an apartment, and then leave it to go somewhere else. But this was really our goal for a long time, to be slow traveling, to stay in a place for a long time, and have a home base, and then do some things here and there uh, in the middle of it. But at the same time, I remember a few years ago, we did um, we went to Krakow and we did Christmas markets. And we rented an apartment in the city for like two weeks. And then we left the apartment for a couple of days to go to another Christmas market. And I remember just thinking like, this feels so weird to have this apartment rented, but knowing that down the road, this is what we want to do. So if you're new around here and it's your first time to the channel, I'm Trevor and this is Anna. We are the Delightful Travelers. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and click on the thumbs up. That really helps us out. If you're not new, it's nice to see all of you again. I still can't believe we are packing up to go. We're packing up to leave this place. It feels really strange because A, we didn't get to spend much time here. The weather hasn't been great, but where we're going, the weather is looking good right now. So we'll finish packing up here, hop in the car, hit the road. So we are actually not leaving the Dominican Republic. Don't worry. We have taken all your recommendations and we're on our way back to Samana. We can't wait to get there, honestly. We have so many ideas, mainly because of you guys, on what we're gonna do there. But one of the main reasons we are going back is because we are picking up our friends. Later in the video, you're gonna find out who they are, but we're really excited. These next few weeks are gonna be tons of fun. Do you guys remember the last time we did this drive? It was a few videos ago. Things didn't go quite as planned. Actually, the drive itself was pretty good, but yeah. leading up to it, trying to get our rental car to not go so smoothly. <laughs> And uh, But this time I think we're off to a much better start at least. Yeah. We got the rental car that we actually ordered. I think we have a Kia SUV Sportage. Sportage. Yeah. Sportage. So it's exactly what we asked for. <laughs> it came on time. Everything so far is going really, really well. The car is pretty good. Yeah, uh, it's pretty good overall. There is one little issue though. You can see uh, this mirror just comes right off the rear view mirror. So uh, there's that, but you know, we can we can deal with this, no problem. So we have just started making our way through one of the many towns that we will have to go through today in order to get to uh, Samana. It's a, it gets a little dicey. I guess this is the hardest part about driving is actually getting through the towns. You have lots of scooters going around, people stopping here and there on the side of the road just randomly. But also the red lights sometimes are really, really confusing. Speed bump. <laughs> yeah, once in a while, some of them are really straightforward and obviously it's like an intersection, but other times you don't really feel like you're at an intersection and you don't know if you should just <laughs> ignore the red light like everybody else does, or do you stop, or what do you do? I what, what I find is the red lights are just a mere suggestion. <laughs> if you want to stop, it's entirely up to you. pit stop on the side of the road because you know there's a beach here <laughs> yeah there's beaches like all along this coast that basically run the whole way i think we're just outside of nagua and it's just so pretty here and completely empty one of the main reasons we stopped here is because last time when we drove through on our nightmare road trip we didn't have a chance to really pull over and try to fly the drone i'm going to attempt that right now it is a little windy but i really want you guys to see what we've been driving through the drive from Caporete to Las Taranas is absolutely incredible. And specifically here in Nagua, there's this 
kind of palm tree alley. It's, it's unbelievable. Alright, it's the next day, and this beach might look a little familiar to some of you because we're back in Los, Los Tyrannus. <laughs> so, we're here because we need a pit stop, we have to find some lunch. We're going to pick up our friends in this video shortly, but hopefully we can find a place, huh? Yeah, I hope so. We saw a place last time that looked really, really cute. Hopefully we can find it again and it's open. <laughs> so we've mentioned in a few videos that we tend to get stopped a fair bit here in the Dominican Republic, especially in Cabarete. It hasn't happened so much in Los Tyrannus, but we just arrived and we got stopped. Hi guys, thanks for saying hello. They're from hello. Poland. What's your names again? Hi, my name is Christoph. And Hi, I'm Sara. <laughs> and they're from one of our favorite countries. Yeah, they're from Poland, which is one of our favorite countries. I think we've been there twice already. Love to go back again. Hopefully we've given you some ideas on what to do around here. <laughs> it's really nice to see you in the real life. <laughs> I love meeting our subscribers. It's always fun when you guys stop us and talk to us. We love meeting you guys, having conversations with everybody that watches us. By the way, this is totally off topic. I know you guys are probably a little bit confused about our itinerary because we were been all over the place. Uh, we were back in Cabarete, now we're back in Los Tyrannos. We're doing some other things in the next few days. We'll be back in Los Tyrannos again, then we're gonna be back, back in Cabarete. <laughs> then we're gonna, our plan anyways, to come back to Los Tyrannos for a good part of March. However, we've been looking for an apartment online. We just need something for like, I think it's the first three weeks of March. We want a pool, we need good internet. And I'm just having a really hard time finding anything. So maybe by the time this video comes out, we will have had success. But if anybody knows anything, send us a message, please. All right, we may have uh, found a place here. Maybe the cutest place in Los Tyrannos, I huh? think it might be. <laughs> oh, look at this. Oh my God, look what we found. A little puppy, the cutest little puppy in the world. <laughs> Hello. What are you doing down there? Are my feet good? <laughs> it's just eating my foot. And the rocks. And the rocks. Mm. Stop eating the rocks. Stop eating the rocks. And my feet. Besides that cute little puppy, the only thing that might be more cute is the place itself. Just take a look at the courtyard here. There's also this kind of retro VW van that they kind of serve drinks out of, serve the food out of. It is quite something. We were aiming to get lunch, but they also serve breakfast here and that just sounded really appealing. Trevor went for an omelet, it's got some bacon and some bread. I went with something I had recently, a few videos ago, it's a Dominican breakfast. It's called mango, which is like smashed plantains. Mm, it's comes a, with fried eggs. Look at that. Fried cheese, fried salami. Oh yeah. Okay, I wanna try this mango. I got a little egg on there too. And if you need a reminder, that's the uh, plantain. So yummy. It's basically in a, in a way similar to having like potatoes with your breakfast back in Canada. It's like they got that starchy consistency to it, but it just has a little bit more flavor to it. And it's so yummy. All right, it's time to try this uh, fried salami. This is something I never think to combo up with kind of breakfast. So let's give it a shot. It's so good. I don't know how they make this so flavorful. It's just packed packed full of flavor, very tasty. You can see kind of, whew, it's loud around here from those bikes. You can see the texture on there, it's just cooked to perfection. It's so good with eggs and we gotta try the cheese over here as well. I will volunteer to try the cheese. I don't know if I could pick a best part of this meal because every aspect is so good, but the cheese, at least every other time we've had it, has been so good. It's usually like a fresh cheese, very, very similar to a halloumi. It's usually quite chewy, quite dense, a little bit salty. We call it sometimes like the squeaky cheese. It's totally squeaky. <laughs> it kind of squeaks in your mouth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a good one. It's this such, is... Yeah, it's such good cheese. It's yeah. like, I, I, the aspect of like having it fried, I guess in a frying pan, and it's a little bit crispy on the outside, but then it's kind of like, like I said, dense, but, um, but squeaky. It's like <laughs> such an interesting consistency, a little bit salty. I love that cheese. I think it's safe to say it's one of our favorite Dominican Republic dishes. This is our second time packing up the car in this video. This time we have to make arrangements to get other people's luggage in here. I know. Might be a bit of a challenge, but we're on our way, I guess, further into the, uh, what do you call it? The peninsula, the peninsula of Samana uh, to pick them up. So as 
you guys know, we've been to Las Terrenas before. This was our second time stopping in there. But this is our first time actually driving past it. So first time ever really exploring the peninsula of Samana. Excited to see a little bit more of it. You guys have given us so many recommendations, told us so many, so many things we have to do. Um, so today the plan is that we're going to pick up our friends, which is kind of right, I guess, right smack in the middle. And then we're going to Las Galeras where we have rented a villa for a few days. So excited to finally check that out. We booked it a while ago and been looking forward to staying there. Have you guys tried to guess who we are picking up yet? I'm curious because I'm going to read the comments. And if you are going to guess, just say this is my guess and leave a comment down below because you're going to see it very soon. We haven't seen our friends in so long because of, you know, the pandemic, the situation. So we're so excited today. It's going to be a big reunion again. So the roads here are getting pretty gnarly <laughs> very quickly. I'm not sure where these guys are sending us. Uh, we knew they were washed out a little bit from the recent storms, but we did not expect they were going to be quite like this. And now I'm starting to wonder if this is the right way to actually get them. <laughs> Hopefully. Oh, oh my god, the roads! Ugh. Hello! Yeah, how was How are you guys? Good to see you, man. Let's awesome. hug it out. It's been so long. It's been like oh two my years. God. We have vlog inception happening. Yeah, hey. I missed this. <laughs> fancy thing going on here. I love I know, it. This is new. We got oh. lots to catch up yeah. on. Hi. So did you guys figure it out yet? Do you know who they are? We've been teasing the whole video. Who we're going to pick up? Yeah. Do our faces give it away? I don't know. Hopefully. <laughs> so Alice and Eric, the endless adventure. If you haven't watched them, we will put all the stuff yeah. in the description below. Oh yeah. And we're spending a few weeks together. Yeah. So yeah. Lots we got a lot of fun plans. Stuff yeah. Two weeks with these guys. We're gonna get up to some trouble. Yeah. Oh, we're yeah. so excited. You guys are going to have to show us the ropes though. These guys know know the Dominican we know a definitely bit on now. a different level than yeah. us. Yeah. All we know is the jungle. Yeah. <laughs> we're That's ready it. to get out of it. Well, we're going to the beach. To yeah. 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 All right. It's time to uh, show you guys our villa. Welcome officially to our villa here. This is a lot bigger than we thought and it's way more interesting than I expected. You can tell just by seeing the b-roll here. It's quite something. It is super interesting. Like you said, it's way different than I think any villa we've ever stayed yeah. in. It's way, the outside space is huge. It's, yeah, there's loads of space. Let's see if we can give you a tour here. Let's try to do this as quick as we can. There's a lot going on. So the first thing you're going to see is obviously this great big pool, a must have in weather like this. It's hot and sunny. Definitely going to be spending a lot of time in there. One thing I love about this place is that there's all these different stations around. So you can see the house over there. Not sure what you call that style. It kind of looks like Spanish. -y. Maybe someone that knows architecture could tell us what style it is. Really unique looking. Got lots of like loungers around, some tables. It's gonna be fun. Well, here's a whole other area. I mean, we could host I feel a like party we're in, like a restaurant in here or something in here. Look at this. It's amazing. Oh, oh we're gonna be spending so much time out here. There's a whole bar area over there. There's an outdoor kitchen. Oh, there's a bathroom over there. <laughs> Because in the bathroom, yeah. I'll take you guys over towards the villa itself because there's a great little outdoor space over here. Just look at this. This is nuts. This is absolutely nuts. And we're right in town. So out here you have your outdoor table. I bet you will be having all of our meals out here. Maybe doing some work out here as well. I would say. Yeah, I can't. Oh, look at this. Definitely getting in that later. This is our living room area. It has this whole built-in sofa, all the different colors of the uh, cushions there. <laughs> it's very colorful. It is super colorful. And then the kitchen is through here. So spacious. It feels very Dominican style. Oh. Uh -oh. Making us so coffee. What are, are you making Welcome coffee? <laughs> to my cafe. <laughs> making really bad coffee for you guys. <laughs> is there alcohol in that? That's the question. Uh, not yet. Not yet. <laughs> There's also all the appliances you'll need in here. You can see a full size stove and we got a fridge to keep all the liquids cool. So it's going to do the trick. All right, let's go into uh, our room. So it's a little bit of a mess because we <laughs> just put all our stuff down, but there's basically two bedrooms, one on top of each other. So one, one's upstairs, one downstairs. I think they pretty much look identical. Mm -hmm. King size bed? Yeah, yeah it's king a king size, size bed. bed. And then the bathroom is through here. Yeah. It's got kind of this built-in stone shower. <laughs> 
This is great. Yeah. All right, let's take you guys upstairs. So there is another bedroom, but that is basically the same as our bedroom. And then there's this kind of outdoor area you're about to see. And last but certainly not least, we have this whole terrace area, which is basically like an outdoor living room. Why are we yeah. gonna pick the spots? This place has so many different spots. <laughs> Really cool, like, hangout spots. How are we going to I don't one? know where we're actually going to hang out. <laughs> so Anna and I were just talking. This is, like, what, the third or fourth place country we met up in? Oh. Is this right? Fourth. fourth. Yeah. What mm -hmm. were they again? We're not over it. Oh, we're not going to say because we have some questions for you to test, ah, test uh -oh. the friendship. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no pressure. It's not just testing the friendship. It's mm -hmm. testing the previous videos, too. So mm. I don't even know where we are right now. This is not going to I don't know what day it is. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Either. Okay, question number one. Name the first city, neighborhood, and the bar we met in. Ah! Well, it was in foggy <laughs> London town, mm -hmm. and there was a cool Was it in pub. Cam Camden Town? I think it was. It mm -hmm. No, it was not. It I, wasn't? Um, no. What was the city? It was London, right? London. It was in yeah. London. Yeah. Um, what was the, the bar? You know, I can <laughs> almost it remember a, it. <laughs> what is that, like a, like a microbrewery like or something? Brew Club, <laughs> Mad Dog, Red but, Dog, something like that. We're close. Right? So close. We're so yes. close. Is the word dog in the yes. title? <laughs> we'll give it to them. Yeah, yeah that's pretty good. Yeah. 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 I think it was yeah. Shortage. Yeah. Yeah. I think. Yeah, yeah. Shortage. Okay. That's what I was yeah. gonna say. Yeah. Shortage. The second question's a little bit harder. What is the sweet treat that all of us ate in Athens? And Allison, it wasn't your favorite. Sweet treat sweet in treat Athens, in Greece, Athens. that Allison didn't like specifically. There was a reason you didn't like it, but we oh, ate the look of Yeah, with honey. I it was, it. Yeah, yeah. That's it. I couldn't yeah. remember yeah. the whole donut. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and on to the third and last question. This is actually going to be the second Valentine's Day that we spent together. The first one was in Bali. Yes. What did we do to celebrate? What did we do to that celebrate I Valentine's Day? Because we've never actually celebrated Valentine's Day other than this, I guess. <laughs> Okay, good answer because that was a trick question because I have no idea. Okay, I was like, did we do something? How romantic! Like, we were in a restaurant the other day and there was Valentine's Day like decorations around and it made me, I'm like, oh yeah, we're meeting up with these guys in February again. So we would have spent Valentine's Day together two years ago, but yeah. no idea. No, I mean, I so I thought that I'd make, make it a question to see if you guys knew the answer. Oh, no so idea. We, we, we got you. Kind of. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So, Las Galeras, we've driven through the town, we arrived at this gorgeous villa, and I think I can safely say we're going to like it here. I think so. I'm looking forward to relaxing a little bit. We honestly haven't planned that much. Not so really. But we are, <laughs> we are definitely going to go visit the famous beaches that everyone keeps telling us yeah. about. But other than that, I'm just really looking forward to discovering it. It's, uh, it's re really slow, it's like a slow pace here and that's totally our vibe. We can't wait to explore more. Now if you've gotten this far in the video and you don't know who we are, I'm Trevor and this is Anna. We are the Delightful Travelers. Hit subscribe, leave us a comment, hit the like button, you know the drill. If you're not new, it's nice to see each and every one of you again. It's gonna be a lot of fun here, I think. Yeah, so like, next few videos, looking forward to doing more stuff around here and really discovering it. Obviously hanging out with Eric and Allison, you're gonna yep. see them. They'll be filming some stuff too, so we'll link all that below. Yeah, make sure, make sure to check them out. It's the endless adventure, but for now, we're just gonna call it here and probably go take a dip in that pool. Yeah, I think so. All right, guys, that's it <laughs> from Las Caleras. Wishing you delightful travels. See you soon.